in this video we will go through the step by step process of creating and managing an apache web server so setting up and managing web servers is one of the many tasks of a devops engineer and a devops engineer should know how to do it and how to securely manage the infrastructure of a web server so in this video we will learn how to set up a web server we will follow some best practices to make it secure so let's get started so we have our linux server here um the ip address of this i'm sorry the if config is not installed here so let's clear the screen quickly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update my um, local repository first so it's trying to update my local repository which is done so what i'm going to do quickly is update the apache web server so simple command sudo app install apache 2 so running these two commands will automatically install all the required packages for you so let's proceed with installing it uh, you need to just confirm with s trying to get the repository packages started setting up the apache 2 so it's completed so what you can do right now is um you can go to the ip address of this particular server and you will be able to see the apache page so lab i'm sorry okay the host name is basically just angels and scooters dot lab so this is your default page of apache web server and you can replace that page it is giving you the main location of the page so in apache web server the most important directory for you to operate is is this var www so that's the most important directory that's where your web server is up and running so now we have installed the apache web server now let's go through the configuration of it as part of the configuration the first thing what we're going to do is disabling the default web page and how we are going to do it we are going to use a command called a to this site so we are disabling the site which is basically our default site which is 000 default this is the one of the security best practices in order to do this uh, never run apache on the um on the default site the first and foremost thing to do is basically to disable it and we are going to remove um the html directory from uh, the apache web server local directory which is for www so that's completed now we will run the system ctl reload apache 2 so what this does is basically it it restarts the entire apache web server so it, that's done so now uh, let's go back to our default page and try to enter it and you will see it's not found so we are not running the default web page now now let's quickly build a new website we have a git repository for the website so before we get the git repository let's make a new directory for our new website so we use uh, mkdir uh, let me copy the command and we are making a new directory called angels scooters dot lab and once this is done we will use the git clone command to get the repository so that copies all the web pages that we want to have on the our web page and then we will use uh, a copy command to copy the files from the git clone what we have in the local to that and then 
uh, we run the basic uh, chain owner permissions. With this step, we completed copying all the required web pages to our location. Now, what we're going to do is quickly create a virtual host. So the basic location of the virtual host uh, in, in Apache, you have your default config. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy the default config to the main location of our web page. So this is going to be our main web page. Uh, we are going to use this uh, angelscooters.lab.conf file. So let's enter. And once that is done, uh, we are going to use, um, let's go and check that file once. What do we have in that file? Okay, so this is our main file. So what we're going to do is we are going to quickly add some data to it. We'll create a virtual host here. Um, if you see, you have your virtual host here. So we are going to add a couple of details. So let me insert. So I'm going to add a server name. And that server name is going to be scooters dot lab. I'm going to add the do document um, root but that's going to point to our the location of our configuration file which is again angels scooters dot lab so those two are the most important and yes, we are going to use port 80. In the next video, I'll explain more about the virtual hosts in, create in a secure way. So this completes our task. Now what we need to do is basically add this website to our scooters.lab. Conf. So this is main our configuration file, the one which we edited just now with the virtual host. Sorry. So that completes the configuration of the virtual host and we added our configuration file to the virtual host. Now what we'll do is quickly do a system CTL reload Apache 2. So now let's go and visit our website. And this is how our website looks. So it's very easy to set up a local website using Apache by following this video, the steps in this video. I hope this video is informative. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos and thank you very much for watching this. Uh, till the next video, happy learning.